Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Uh, wanted to do a quick disassembly of a broom handle upper. Uh, one thing I would like to correct that I said wrong in a previous video was this firing pin should actually be turned clockwise when you are taking it out. So what you do is you're, you take, if you want to risk it with a screwdriver, you would put it into this slot right here. Now obviously when that is in the gun, this would be turned uh, vertically. So then you would just get this into the slot, apply pressure in to push the firing pin into the gun further, and then turn it clockwise, I believe, not, yeah, 90 degrees, and then let off, and your firing pin will protrude some, and you can then just pull it out. As you can see, a broom handle has an ungodly long firing pin here. Then you have your upper, and what you want to do here is remove your bolt stop first. So you press that forward, and then just pull that out, and you'll hear your spring sprung. Pull this out, take your spring out, and then remove your bolt. So that is the really all you need to take off of the upper of one of these. Uh, no need to mess around with the tangent sight or anything like that. And you can now easily clean your upper, all that kind of good stuff that you need to do to it. And you can take a look at this. You've got access to the bolt face here and your firing pin and your firing pin spring. And we'll get this guy all back together and we'll talk about the gun in a future video. But as you can see, that sort of gives you an idea of your broom handle. And this is actually just the grip screw here. It looks like a pretty complicated gun, but really when you take it apart, it is not. Um, this looks like an incredibly complicated piece of machinery. And while it is kind of a bear to take all the way apart, you really don't need to. Uh, the one thing you're going to see is this is going to come right out. At least it supposedly should. So that comes right out. And your safety can come off, but there's really no need to. If it does fall off, it's pretty easy to slot back on. Uh, your safety can actually... Again, doing this one-handed is always a challenge. As you can see, your safety is just going to slide back and forth like that. And sometimes it's just in there in a slot and it's unsupported. Sometimes you'll click it back and forth and it'll fall out. It's pretty easy just to uh, click it back into its slot there and then go on. There's no spring or anything that's going to come out afterwards. So that's the internals. And um, unfortunately, putting one of these back together does require two hands. So. <laughs> In terms of showing you how to put it back together, it is just reverse the process that you've seen here. Uh, again, I can't stress enough. Save yourself the agony. Make sure to push in your spring here, your button, on your magazine floor plate when you do initial disassembly as your very first step. Use something plastic. Use something that fits and use something that is not going to scuff when, not if, but when you slide out of this hole and scuff along your magazine floor plate. I promise you, you will do that to a gun and you'll wish that you would listen to this advice. Beyond that, it's a pretty straightforward gun. Enjoy shooting it, enjoy collecting them, and we'll be back looking at some more interesting broom handles in future videos. Hope this helps you, and uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and we'll be doing more soon.